Everybody's got to eat. But what's your media diet like? Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery and this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. And today we are talking about what you consume with your media. I tell my mom and dad all the time, turn the news off, turn the news off. I say, mom, there's nothing good in the news. It's just a low vibration that they're just, they're just putting you in that frequency. Mom and dad say, no, we need to know what's going on in the world. But that's my mom and dad. I can't really control them because they're my mom and dad. But, um, and I can't control anything except for myself, right? Um, but I'm sharing with you that what you consume, what you put in comes out of you. So just be careful about what you are consuming with your media, all right? So if you want to lose weight, let's just say you want to lose weight, right? Well, you might start watching and looking at some things about losing weight. Exercise, eating right, getting good sleep, detoxification, mindfulness behavior. Somebody else talks about that. I talk about that all the time. But you would consume the things that you would think that you need to consume in order to lose weight if that's your goal. If you want to be rich, if you want to be wealthy beyond your wildest dreams, then you would consume things that are of money, finance, probably health and wellness as well, probably, right? But then there's that other media, that's that in-between media, like uh, not, that, not that the Atlanta Housewives are not amazing. They're, they are, it's an amazing show. Right? Amazing show. Uh, but it could make you a little mm, irritated. It could make you think that that's what all ladies in Atlanta are like. Maybe, right? And if you think that every woman in Atlanta is like the Atlanta Housewives, well, you're just wrong, okay? They're probably the most popular ladies in Atlanta because they're on television and other medias. But no, that's not what they're all like. But the people that are consuming them, they may feel like that is what it's like and that is, it is what it is. So you just have to be careful about what you choose to really consume. Now, I am a huge fan, huge fan of MMA. Huge fan, okay, UFC, yes. I'll even go Bellator on you, ooh. Bare knuckle fights, oh my goodness, what? I mean, th those are great. And I consume them, I consume them, all right? Does not necessarily make me wanna go out in the street and have a fight, mm -mm. no, 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 no. But I do appreciate the art and the technique that they use and I spar very, very, very occasionally, right? And I'd like to be able to think that I can defend myself or run away fast enough if I need to run away, right? But these are the things that I consume. I watch things on health and wellness. I love Dr. Rhonda Patrick, Dr. Mark Hyman, um, Andrew Huberman. These are the things that I consume for me, for me to be healthy, for me to help the people that I serve, and for the people that I serve to hopefully get something out of it, something that they may not have watched themselves. This is what this channel is about. I'm sharing what I know, just as a doctor of dental surgery, I'm sharing what I understand about life with you in hopes that you can be better for having listened to it, right? And if you are better for having listened to what I've said, first of all, wow, and share it with a friend and make sure that your media that you consume is not really sugar-coated. It's not, it's not just junk. You want it to be full of nutrient and good things for your brain and body. Now, you know what? If you wanna go crazy with yourself and brainwash yourself, because you can do that, right? You can record yourself telling yourself one of the greatest stories that you wanna see for your life. 
You put that on a loop. You play that in your room at night at very, very low frequencies and just let that, let that play all night. At low volumes, not frequencies. Low volume, let that play all night. Now you are giving yourself the opportunity to tell yourself the story that you want to see when you wake up in the day and you start having things come to you just like, seem like it was a dream, but just like you wanted it to be or you want it to be, that is how you can make your life. Because life starts from the inside. And once you get your life on the inside right, it will start manifesting so that other people can see what was on the inside of you. And that is a beautiful thing, particularly if what's on the inside of you is beautiful. So make it beautiful. Make sure that you're consuming media that is good for you. And know that when you're consuming media that's bad for you, that this is how you are. This is how you need to be. When you're consuming bad media, ready? Don't be sleepy. Don't be tired, okay? If you're gonna watch something that you know is not good, be completely awake. All right? The reason why is because when you're sleepy and you're watching it and you're just letting it go and it's not good for you. It is so not good for you. But well, what's happening is that your subconscious is able, well, it listens all the time, but your subconscious listens to everything all the time, but it listens to your consciousness. So as you're watching something, like when I'm watching MMA, I'm saying consciously, whoo, that was quite violent. I'm never gonna do that. Great. But when you're watching something and you are, your consciousness is slipping away and you're hitting a twilight zone, which is why it's not great to fall asleep with just the regular television on. Well, those things get processed by your subconscious and your subconscious is like, really, this is what we're doing? And it tries to make it real. If you fall asleep at night, right? And this is for my New Yorkers, all right? I'm a New Yorker, right? You fall asleep watching the TV, you wake up in the morning, oh my God, if you get in a car in New York, do you find that you're a little agitated, irritated? Do you find that? Because if you are, it could be because you were watching something that was irritating the smack out of you while you were sleeping. You didn't get a good quality of sleep. Now you get in your car, you're driving your car, and you're angry and cursing everybody out on the road. It's because of the media that you consumed, all right? Watch what you consume. I highly recommend, highly recommend watching media that is good for you. Watching media that has a purpose for you in your life to be better tomorrow than you are today. Give yourself a chance to live your best life. And there's so much out there. I mean, I love YouTube. I, I, I love it. I, I think YouTube is a whole school. There's so much stuff out there. Make sure that you get what you need out there for yourself. And when you're watching things that are just fun, fun videos, watch the fun videos. That's fine. Just don't be sleepy when you do it. All right? Because the media is meant to hold your attention. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen, is what everybody wants. I want it and everybody else wants it. So I would like to say thank you for your attention. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you heard anything that you really could jive with in this particular video, please send it to a friend and we'll talk about it later.